Hello, party people. It is Will Pemble. We are talking about wheel assemblies today. We did a little bit of work on wheel assemblies a couple of videos ago, and now we're ready to take it to the next level and get these suckers actually done so we have something that rolls. Remember last time we cleaned up and sort of like reclaimed, recycled, reused these pieces, these frames for the wheel assemblies. One goes on each corner of the cart. Now what I want to do is build out this piece of it. If you see here, this, this big half inch diameter bolt is where the wheel assembly needs to turn, right? And so this, this is the, the, the pitch where the thing pitches up or pitches down when it goes up a hill, when it goes down a hill. And the, the wheel assembly, if you look at some of the old videos, you'll find that this is where the thing connects to the axle. And so we've got one of these on one side, and we've got one on the other, and then our track goes in between those two things. So this part is what we need to work on today. We need to get this piece of the wheel assembly attached up to an axle so that we can put two of these things together. And I'll kind of show you where we're going with this as we go. So I've got a couple of pieces here. I've got this really cool one inch diameter, one inch outside diameter, half inch inside diameter piece of steel tubing. I've got some one eighth inch thick by one inch wide sheet of steel here. And then I've also got this one and a half inch by, uh, quarter inch thick spool. and what I'm hoping I can do is take all of those pieces and put them together in such a way as to make a very very rigid and strong connection from the wheel assembly to the axle of the cart on both sides. And so we're gonna start working on that and see how far we get. That's beautiful. Right? So now, so that goes there. This piece goes like that. Okay. Right? Need an extra hand here? Probably. All right. And then this piece that we just cut there, that wraps around more or less here. It yeah, wraps around. That, that'll work better. Right? So then you get kind of a, you build a little I-beam for your wheel assembly, and then when the thing turns, the wheels still get like really good clearance and it stays really, really strong. There's lots of places to weld. You buying any of that? I I'm going for it. You like it? Yes. I've, I've like been assembling this in my head for days and days. Using my awesome vise. So I've got these two pieces held together there, so that's nice and strong, and that's how we want it to be. And then I take this little T section and Thing is clamped together and I can just weld it all at one time.
I know I'm terrible at welding. Any advice you can give me, I will take it. Tell me how to do a better job of welding. Get involved, make a video, help me. So what I've discovered through some tragedy, through some design build planning tragedy, is that it's real easy, the way I've got these things built, it's real easy to get the wheels, um, I built this one here, it's real easy to get this wheel assembly to where the wheel doesn't line up exactly with the axle and obviously you need all the wheels pointing in the same direction and so what I'm trying to figure out here is a little doohickey mechanism that'll allow me to get the get this put this axle in here in such a way as to be able to force everything into line, just this, this steel bar here, it's centered on the axle, they're both pointed in the same direction, and then when I mount the wheel assemblies, all the wheels hopefully will point in the same direction, or that's what I'm hoping. So I'm gonna tack this back in here and then knock this thing out of the way and see if I'm as smart as I hope I am. Okay, so that's the new and improved axle. I can uh, put the wheels on it. See, it's probably really hot. I just wish I had like six bucks for every time I dropped one of these wheel assemblies, I'd have like a million dollars. Alright. So here's our wheel assembly now. You can see they can tilt. Way this is upside down, by the way, but you can see that they can tilt really, really steep. That's what 60, 70 degrees. 
um, 60 for sure. And then what I'm hoping here, moment of truth, is that the distance from there to there, center of that wheel to center of this wheel, is 24 inches. And it is. So we've got our 24 inch, that's about the middle of that. Yeah, that's pretty darn, that's pretty darn accurate right there. Certainly good enough for government work. Now what I want to do is I just want to prop up that piece of track that I got on the floor and just see if this thing will sit nice on the track. And so that's going to be our next trick. Okay, so here's the wheel assembly. It's on the track. It fits really nice. You can see that the center line of the wheels matches really, really well with the center line of the track. If I drop this, it doesn't move because this piece of the wheel assembly knocks against the, knocks against the wheels. And so it needs to be upright like this, but if you watch, look at how, and I put on the side step wheels, look at how beautifully it rides there, right? right? So it rides really, really smooth, as you would expect a roller coaster to do. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put on the other side wheels, the the, uh, the side stop wheels, so that the thing will stay on the track and go straight down. And then I'm going to figure out a way to keep this thing upright. And then I'm going to put you on this wheel assembly so that you can be the first one to ride the new coaster. I'll be right back. Okay, here you are. You're on the track. You're mounted, I've got the side stop wheels, that's the track. I figured out a way to keep the thing from moving too much, I hope. You ready? Here you go, enjoy the ride. Okay, that's what you just rode. 20 feet of track. You're sitting on the wheel assembly. First ones to do that. Not even Lyle did that yet, or me or anybody. So that's all you. Get you back on here. Okay, so we have. These will be one set of wheel assemblies. I don't know which one, the front or the back, but here's the front wheels or the back wheels, and then we'll figure out how to make the, the yaw on the front. We'll call these the back, and so that's pretty straightforward and simple. So I'll put together the front wheels now, and then we'll get those things connected just with a little, with a little spine running down the middle of the thing, and that way we'll be able to roll it all by itself down the track and start to see how this bad boy is gonna uh, behave. One of the things that I really love about this is that the track is 24 inches. I've said it before, it's much wider than the track we did before. And I also love that the cart is gonna be much wider. So, that, so the bar across here is 26 inches wide. So we've got a lot, a lot of space where we can put a really comfortable seat and we can make the thing a little bit longer than it was because it's already a little bit wider. This coaster is coming together really nicely. I think after I get this wheel assembly put together, we're gonna to start to figure out how to push it. And we're either gonna push it using magnets, which we've talked about a lot, or we're gonna push it using hydraulics, uh, pneumatics rather, which I've talked about a lot. And then John is really excited about the idea of using like electric motors and pulleys and cables and variable frequency drives and all that kind of crazy stuff. So we get a lot to do and a lot to learn. Please do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so that you know what's coming up next. And thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I'm Will Pemble, and I'll see you soon.